Said, uh, your uh, parakeet said you're muted, bitch. Parakeet said you are muted, bitch. <laughs> I don't know. Are you? You guys hear here? us? Oh. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Mumble Quest, the dark fantasy western adventure. Uh, my name's Brutal Richard. You can call me Dick. Fuck! And with me are the mumblers. Roll okay. call, boys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We got it. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. All right. Gabriel. Sorry about that. <laughs> Shit, man, I'm all fucked up, dude. It's, okay, so what had happened was I uh, I had that I had we had the VR missions episode, which had a completely different interface. And when I turned on OBS uh, to my Mumble Quest interface, it was on that. And I'm like, oh shit, I have to fix all of this in three minutes. Um, uh -oh. So clearly, I didn't get it all fixed, but I think I think we're good. I might sound a little different because I don't have my microphone filters on, so I'm gonna have to turn away from the mic when I breathe, like uh, like Tazon Day. But uh, anyway, sorry, I'm a professional. Chocolate rain. Chocolate rain. Yeah, this is a this is a completely uh, professional high production stream. High production stream. I'm on like fucking twenty people's fucking top four list for streaming this year so that's hell yeah. i'm a professional that's dope this is good shit yeah i found out today that i'm a mod in two channels and i don't know what the other one is what the fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Somebody that was really fun likes you. <laughs> all right shit uh, uh uh i'm not gonna do the fucking thing i'm just gonna skip forward uh listen we're if if we fuck up in D D, don't yell at us we value rule of cool over everything else if i fuck up while i'm dming it's because i'm fucking completely freaking out and unprepared and panicking like i am every single session regardless of the amount of time between sessions uh i will do my best to address chat but please understand that with dming there comes focus so uh I, uh you know deal with it if i don't fucking if you're like hi hi richard and i don't say hi back you know just fucking suck it up quit being weird uh anyway Gentlemen, introduce yourselves, starting with Gabriel. I'm uh, Azure Savage, and I'll be playing Gabriel Ephedias. Zeus. I am Alufel, playing Zeus Wundergab. Pete. I'm Baruch on Twitch, Gummy King on Discord, and I'll be playing Beat. Three three mm, Buck. I'm uh, Dr. Mr. Tim. And I'll be playing Buck Truehold. And as always, I am Dr. Mr. Tim, and I will be playing Brutal Savage. Anyway, <clears throat> the last time we saw the gang, they were tra- Oh, fuck. I'm so stupid, dude. Yeah, we know. Shut up. Watch. Uh. That was on the wrong screen. <laughs> the last time we saw the gang, they were trapped in a non-canon VR team building exercise. So we're just going to pretend that shit didn't happen. For now, we'll get back to that later, I mean. Maybe we'll make it like a monthly one-shot or something. I don't, I don't know. What matters is that the Tahian is dealt with, but five more monsters are on the loose, and they seem more intelligent than expected. The Protectorate has shown up to town, led by Lieutenant Damocles, who backhanded Miss Fields into oblivion. Some say she's still flying through the air to this day. Oh, no. <laughs> he also forced Gabriel into formation and led the group back to the end of the line saloon. Here's where our story picks up. Do you guys like how I said picks up like cowboy style? How I did that? Yes. I like it. Cowboy style. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 end of the line. End of the line. Here we go. You got to figure out how you can. I don't know why this how you can apply that sound effect to every time you swap screens so it just does it automatically. <laughs> I can make that happen. It's just good. <laughs> don't 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 tempt me with a good time. Can all of you see your screens? I can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, yep, yep. Where we last left off, Lieutenant Damocles and the knights that no longer have Gabriel's old tokens uh, led you guys back into the end of the line uh, in the line saloon 
Uh, the tokens have changed to represent proper foot soldiers. I didn't want them to look like uh, like what Gabriel looks like, because Gabriel's a little bit special. Yes, that's the egg. <laughs> <laughs> I found it. I was looking for it. Nice. <laughs> uh, I didn't want them to look quite like Gabriel, so a little bit of lore expedition. expedition. Oh, my God. Well, let's exp- exp- we're exp- taking an expedition into the lore. <laughs> lore <laughs> exposition. No sound alerts on the D&D stream. Sorry, Olivia. Um, so Gabriel is a, is a red knight of the Protectorate, which is a little bit different than their, their rank-and-file soldiers. So Lieutenant, Lieutenant Damocles here is also a red knight, but the, the other guys that he's traveling with, they're just regular foot soldiers of the Protectorate, just regular rank-and-file dudes who just needed some, some work, but now they're all posted up. So anyway, you guys are all up in this building. Uh, it's the end of the line saloon, which I don't think you guys have seen this map, have you? No. Okay, no, cool. First so, time in here. Yeah, I made a proper map for it. So as you um, guys do, get... you go on. Do you have a uh, a reference to the ranks that we set up the other day? Yeah, dude, totally. But like, not here. <laughs> so, oh, dang it! It's okay. <laughs> we're just gonna have. We're just gonna wing it. <laughs> okay. We'll, we'll retcon it if we get it wrong. Oh, All right. Another one. All right. Look at the eggs. <laughs> All right, so you guys are in the end of the line uh, saloon. Let me go ahead and zoom this out for for chat. Uh, this is the end of the line saloon. Uh, I don't think the boys can see it, but we also have a menu on the bottom. Uh, on the menu, well, I'll, I'll have Sheila go over that with you guys later. We have the full menu. Sheila. But uh, yeah, so the tavern is is nice and warm. There's a a, a good number of tables in here, uh, but the mood's kind of um, dour right now as Lieutenant Damocles takes a seat at the first table he sees, and his guards just sort of. Uh, block the doorway two on the inside two on the outside uh gabriel you're you're nearby him i don't know if you want to have a seat or not and the rest of you are just sort of behind lieutenant damocles miss fields makes her way into the room as well, well i don't know has lieutenant damocles al- like t- allowed me to sit <laughs> yes he he grabbed you by your little leggies and put you in a chair and said good boy <laughs> good boy you take seat for me anyway so Lieutenant Damocles, uh, he just walks up, grabs a chair, pulls it out all cool-like, flips it around backwards, and sits down like a cool kid. And then he has, you notice he's wearing wow. fingerless gloves, and he pops a, uh, a menthol shorty into his mouth. I'm kidding. He just sits down like normal. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is a, va- a vast character shift from what he was when we met him. Yeah, he's, like, he's the cool kid from the Breakfast Club now. He's, he's, he looks at Gabriel and goes, no, what about you, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> anyway... Lieutenant Damocles takes a seat, and he looks over at Gabriel and and ushers to to him to take a seat as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I do. I, you know, sit down at the table. Uh, So Damocles just sort of looks over Gabriel and says, Explain this situation immediately. Sir, I was sent uh, by Lieutenant Grimm of the Elysian Unit down to pursue the source of a curse, and I was on this train on my way down, and uh, things just kind of happened. This woman here, Miss Fields, uh, seemed like she was being uh, bullied by the, um, shoot, what were they called? The, the Blue Denim Boys. The Blue, the blue Denim Gang. The blue Denim Gang. <laughs> and uh, chose to help her, and uh, which led to me finding out that there was, of course, precious cargo on the train. And Blue Denim Boys were able to uh, get one of those crates open, and it attacked the people on the train, and we did the best we could to stop it. And what Luckily, do you know about the cargo itself? Uh, nothing, sir, save for uh, the light of the Protectorate holds strong against him. Hmm. I'm tempted to make you do a deception roll. But I'm not Okay, gonna, I'm not I'm... trying to deceive him. I'm telling the truth. I guess technically you are. And you know what? He's, he buys it. That's all I know about him. Very well. And Miss Fields, what do you know of her? Uh, only that she was uh, sent or was uh, hired by the Protectorate to deliver said cargo. Miss Fields chooses to... She, like, steps forward and then goes to open her mouth and then just thinks better of it and just ducks her head and shakes it in a no before stepping back. Uh, Damocles looks over Gabriel and then looks behind him at the rest of you guys and then looks back at Gabriel. And who is this crew? They are other survivors of the train crash. 
Have they been conscripted into the Protectorate? No, sir. That is not my mission. My mission is solely uh, to seek the source. And do they seek the faith? I haven't had a chance to talk to them. Weird that that wasn't your first question. Well, there was... uh, Yes, sir. You're right, sir. Goddamn right. (laughs) (laughs) Boy, I almost went full military on you. (laughs) Uh, Damocles turns around and uh, looks over. Listen, Gabriel's used to a more loose kind of regime, I guess. Okay. (laughs) Damocles looks over the rest of you guys uh, and, and looks at Zeus first and says, A goblin. Gross. Introduce yourselves, gentlemen. I, I am Zeus. Great. Uh, Buck Truehold. You look familiar. Do I know you from somewhere? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Anybody you ever look familiar tell you too? That? Uh, you know, I hear it all the time here lately. It's weird. You look just like somebody. I just can't put my finger on it. You sound like somebody that I can't put my finger on. Colonel. <laughs> <laughs> I only have so many. You guys like want to put your fingers on each other? Is that... uh, he looks oh, at uh, at Pete <clears throat> and you. And Pete, what do you do, Pete? <laughs> I'm a co- <laughs> oh god! <laughs> do we have a man? Yeah, he spits blood into the uh, into a, a brand new uh, handkerchief. Stuffs it in his other pocket. I'm a collector. Damocles is just making that like, like, <laughs> that he kind of face. Dabs at you. his bottom lip. It's shiny. <laughs> he looks back at uh, at Gabriel. This is the company you keep: a goblin, a really handsome dwarf, and a sick. Is that is he? A, what is he a gnome? What even is he? Sir, by with all due respect, this is this is what we had available to help the citizens of the town. And out of curiosity, how many of them did you help? We were able to save two. Oh. <laughs> that I know on his hand. Uh, uh, two, two and, I, think, I think it was two and a half. I heard rumors upon entering town of a man with a face stapled to his knee nubs. I saved his life. Did stop the bleeding. It's he would have died up. without me. That's so fucked yeah, up, okay. Unconventional, but it worked. It was a dire situation, sir. We had to do what had to be done. There were no bandages. Did you know that in the latest World of Warcraft patch, they removed first aid completely from the game? How do you even make bandages now? Anyway. I think we, <laughs> I think we, just, we just continue to trust in the light of the protector. Dragonflight's $50. Just... This stream is sponsored by Blizzard. <laughs> I just showed us his face. Hashtag ad, hashtag ad, Twitch Prime. <laughs> uh, all right, so Damocles uh, just seems to like sit and stare at his bangers and 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 uh, and, and egg that's in front of him. That's 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 food. No mash. Egg. No mash. Uh, Single egg. Sausage and egg. I, I don't know. I made this map at breakfast time. I was. <laughs> he, he looks down at his food, uh, which is not his food, and he just kind of shoves it away. Uh, the glass falls off the table and breaks, and he just kind of. Stares at the glass on the ground and goes, "Shit, I didn't. I didn't actually mean to do that. I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, it's the armor. I, I misjudge. Anyway, Gabriel's just nodding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We <laughs> have our work to cut out here. Then there are five creatures on the loose that were meant to be delivered directly to the Protectorate. Do you understand how dangerous these things are, Captain, Sergeant, whatever you are?" <laughs> <laughs> What are you? Uh, You're sergeant, right? It is. It's sergeant, sir. And yes, I do know how dangerous they are. And what is your fa- plan? My plan was to report to you. Step two. <laughs> Wait for instructions. <laughs> Very well. As of the, the as of not this I moment, but the moment that I happened was... two weeks ago. <laughs> Gabriel. <laughs> Pulls out his hand, shaking the letter that he was trying to mail. (laughs) He's like furiously shaking. Farmer Joe is peering in through the window and he goes, Hey, I've seen that before. 
Damocles, uh, uh, <laughs> he looks at the letter and snatches it and actually reads it over. He gives it a quick once over real quick. Then he looks back up approvingly at, uh, at Gabriel and says, Good job, soldier. Anyway, this town is now under the protection of the Protectorate. I understand the redundancy in that statement. I didn't think that through when I said it. But we are now going to protect this town by any means necessary. Now, step one. He looks over Buck, and he says, Who are you, dude? Seriously, I can't get it out of my head. Tip my tongue, bro. Ew. You don't, don't got to be bashful, sir. I know you know who I am. Buck Truehold. As Rodeo I legend. Breathe, is it Buck Truehold, Rodeo <laughs> legend, that stands before me? That's me. Damn, All these guys of... around me being bashful, I know they want my autograph. He kind of looks around. And, like, you can see, like, the, the, the guards that are guarding the door are also, like, oh, they're, like, looking out the window. And then, <laughs> like, what the holy shit? And Damocles uh, just kind of stares Buck down with just a, an angry face. And he goes, sir, can I get your autograph? This is so cool. <laughs> Absolutely. I love meeting my fans. I uh, reach out and uh, Will you sign my chest. Sign- Yes, I signed it. <laughs> his armor. <laughs> he uh, he like pulls his tabard aside and lets you sign like directly onto the armor, and then he pulls his tabard back over it and just kind of pats it with like a big dumb grin on his face. <laughs> you guess you, you guess you that. <laughs> Gabriel's like he just shrugs. You've What's been traveling rodeo? with Buck Truehold. Are we supposed we don't, to know uh, who you are? I'm sorry, sir. We don't. We don't get get to uh, get to rodeos too much out in the Elysian woods. This is Buck Truehold, famed rodeo man of Rodango. You guys didn't see the billboards in town everywhere, or his goddamn face? He's famous. Y'all don't watch the rodeo? Y'all like NASCAR or something? It's where you ride <laughs> wi- wyverns, not horses. We don't have horses. Where you they, ride wyverns? They usually make the seats too wyverns, small. That sounds very too dangerous. Big. It's I so can't see dangerous. Over the rails. Uh, that's a good point. You're probably not even allowed in because you're fucking gross. Gabriel's realizing he needs to go out more often. <laughs> uh, Damocles kind of like shakes his head, snaps back to attention. <clears throat> Anyhow, the way I sees it, I'm gonna be taking a room upstairs. Are there any available rooms? Sheila kind of like looks over from across the bar and goes, Sir, uh, there's only one available room, but it was taken by, by these four gentlemen. Um, they, they seem to have that last room. And Damocles just stares at Gabriel. Is that well, sir, be room if you wouldn't mind, I need to be dismissed. I just... <laughs> <laughs> Damocles uh, winks with his one good eye and looks back at Sheila and goes, We'll be taking that room, ma'am. Was that a... Uh... Was that a wink or is it just a blink? It's hard to. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs> I'm disabled. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, it just looks Still like he has a, a hard time point. blinking. Hard to tell. <laughs> I don't need your input. You're right, sir. Do you have something? Do you have something yeah, in your in you your could, eye? Uh, you can let us know if you're, if you're blinking or winking. <laughs> <laughs> I need to preface it. <laughs> yeah, I reckon or, if you just tell, like if you just tell us. Either way. You guys are cyberbullying me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Damocles uh, looks You're not over his. Like what you see in that room? <laughs> What's in that room? What'd you guys do in there? I forgot. Uh, did a ritual. Left skin. Oh right. <laughs> oh. So Damocles looks at Sheila and he goes, "Man, would you mind cleaning the room before I before I step in there? I'm a very hygienic man." <laughs> no problem, sir. I'll, I'll send Smalls to do it. It smells. So Damocles just. <clears throat> looks back over you guys and, and oh, that's a diminutive name. pats, uh, pats, uh, pats uh, Buck on the shoulder and says, pardon me, Mr. Truehold. I need to step out and get some air. By all means. Soldiers, hold it down. Damn, please out. I'm going to sniff him on the way out. <laughs> he, he smells like sawdust and whiskey. Uh, the nice. two guards just step outside. Like right outside the door. These are windows. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Damn, that was that was a cool flip they did. Yeah, we got auto rotating now, baby. Hell yeah! 
did. Um, yeah, Gabriel just sits down at the, at the table and he's like, mm, Speaking of rotating, that would be cool. We'll just watch yeah. Richard rotate. Oh, sorry. I had the game paused. <laughs> <my bad. laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, it feels like I'm doing somersaults. Strange. Great. That, that feels. <laughs> <laughs> that, honestly, Pete, like, look, at, look at where you're sitting right now. You're just like, oh, let me see if I can make this happen. All right, see. So <laughs> oh, what's going on? It's a little bit of lag. Oh, okay. Pete says something, and I'm like, what the fuck did you just say to me? <laughs> anyway uh, chat that just a heads fun. up I am paying attention though I do preface every single session of Mumble Quest with if I don't respond get over it so <laughs> you know I love you but guys <clears throat> I'm, I'm DMing I can't DM respond and read <clears throat> everything at the same time uh, okay. crazy kooks I think so, what, uh, he's, what he's trying to say is, is that he likes us better shut the fuck up children you. oh yeah that, that's telling a story, story. Uh, okay, so one thing you guys can do, I don't know if you know this, but if you uh, click your character and you click mm -hmm. and drag them, while you're dragging, if you hold down shift, you can just have them park, like, anywhere, even if it's not, like, in the grid. So if you want to, like, align yourself with a chair or something, you can do it that way. Wait, say that again? So you... click. Oh, I see. Yep. Oh. There you go. Oh, look at that. Click and drag and then hold down shift and just park them wherever you want. That's beautiful. So, yeah, gate. Nice. Gabriel is uh sitting at the table and he's got his elbows down he's just kind of like a little relieved because that went pretty well so uh red you getting fired or something no no far from it I think we're okay seems I like think that went a, about as good as it could have went seems like you got a proper ass you in there she well you know <laughs> I mean, call it what you want, but I mean, he's not wrong. I mean, they were supposed to get that cargo, and it's obviously dangerous. No. Yes, Maybe but they should not put your fault. Of their own guards, instead of trusting all of this stuff with one lady. I they agree. We're also contracting with criminals, to be fair, so it's not exactly like they were on the up and up. Yeah, we might not want to bring that up. Uh, I still never got. Might be above uh, above his pay grade. What now? <laughs> what? Just, just ignoring it. I just <laughs> Gabriel just puts his head back down. <laughs> are we uh, are we done here? Can I go home or? Where Miss, is uh, <gasps> Miss Fields Where walks on the table and has a seat, and she just puts her head in her hands, and looks. I don't I don't know how to describe it. Like uh, it's when you like put your hands. Like directly over your face, your elbows are on the table, and you're just like staring down at the table, looking miserable. Yep. Well, what you thinking about? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. This is how strange that would be coming from this <laughs> scary little dude. <laughs> what, yeah. what you thinking about? <laughs> Y'all, this is fucked up. This is fucked up. Did y'all see yes. him? He fucking hit me. Yep. Well, Indeed. I don't... I was messed up. I don't know how they do it around here. I'm not from here. It's not very gentlemanly. Well, you're part of them, aren't you? Oh, no. Y yes and no. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> no, but but really, yes. Yeah. I think, think they of, are different Chinese. Right. Think of... Think of like, you know, I'm like part of the police in Wyoming and he's part of the police in Washington. Where's Wyoming? Where's I'm Wyoming? Just kidding, I know. <laughs> Layla They're... just leans back in her chair and glares at Red and then just slaps a coin purse on the table. I found my purse. Ten gold to each of you right now, except for him. Wow. Except Very for who? Good. Him. She points at Red. I don't know. Deal. He's he's kind of used to this treatment, just around small towns. Notice Pete, he just kind of keeps to himself because most people treat him, you know, like he's part of the protectorate. <laughs> well, well, big cities, unfortunately. As it turns out. Yeah. Listen. Listen, Miss Fields. He, he did his job just like the rest of us. I mean, 
I know you Treat got the case slapped out your mouth, but that don't mean he don't need to get paid. Oh, it's fine. There's you know, no need. Buck Buck Truehold, the famous Rodeo star. How how could I ever ever say something so silly in front of someone like man? Shut the hell up! I ain't giving him no gold. <laughs> Why well, you uh real ghetto, real fast? <laughs> Buck, you really you really are a, a what do they call it? A Rodeo champion? Uh, ro- rodeo. It's pronounced Rodeo. 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 You've never been to the to the damn rodeo? No, no. Well, we don't. Like I tried to tell the lieutenant there, we our unit stays pretty secluded for the most part. There's nothing I like it. Understand uh, that the protector at Red Knights are not a union outfit, and um, they don't get a forty-hour, five-day work week. I don't imagine they have a lot of time for. Um, Rodeos. Gabriel nods. He's just nodding. Yep. <laughs> Buck just kind of like humbly nods as well. Like, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Miss Field slides uh, ten gold pieces to all three of you. None for none for Gabriel. Though. All right. None for you, Glenn Coco. So when she does that, she lifts her head back up and says, "I'll give five more if y'all can get rid of them." Not, not red. Get not well. Red. Hold, hold, hold on now. Get rid of who? Damocles, you get him out of this town. You got five more gold coming your way. Hmm. By any means necessary. I'm just playing. Don't kill him. I, that'll be real bad for all of us. <laughs> hey, Miss Fields, I cannot condone a rebellion against the protectorate. Rebellion? I ain't rebelling. Listen, I have a very simple idea here. As long as he's here. He's in charge of this damn town, and I ain't about that. Since seeing as how he knocked me into the dirt not 15 minutes ago, but two weeks ago in real th- in real lifetime, if y'all forgot, he knocked me into the dirt. That being said, maybe, just maybe, if there was some other member of the Protectorate who henceforward has been quite pleasant to be around, took his place. All right, so good. So are you, are you suggesting a, level? suggesting a coup? You think I'm suggesting that we overthrow the the protectorate, the largest military in all of Romos? I no, think, I sir. Think what he meant to say was a mutiny. Uh, yes, no. a mutiny. That's exactly what I'm suggesting. <laughs> Ma'am, I. It's I, like a tiny coup. It's like a small one. It's cute. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. So it's like a coup. It's like it's like a coup. A coup. Can, can, can we stop saying that? You sound like a herd of pigeons. <laughs> you sexy, sexy pigeons. <laughs> I believe a flock of pigeons I... is called a... A Tesla. A Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I don't, I don't... I don't have time to be being in charge of a town. I, 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 have, a, I have a mission of my own to uphold. Can't you tell by my little my little dangly on my shoulder there? I, I believe the idea would be to get him out and then leave. Not stay forever and rule the town. Rule the town? Mm. Hell no. Maybe we could... Maybe... <sighs> she scratches oh. her head. Maybe oh, we could use a little damn help. From someone oh, who ain't too keen on smacking women. I do not like the smacking of women. You know, I so here, here, here's the thing. I might not agree with everything the uh, protector might be doing, but I mean, you did kind of fuck up, and Damocles walks back. They're in. just doing their job. <clears throat> no, no, not him. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot my sausage. He leaves. Say by Clemides. <laughs> I already licked that. He doesn't hear it. He's just eating it outside. <laughs> That guy likes fingers and sausages a lot. I don't fucking like him one bit. No, he's a... He is an abrasive man. I like his mustache. I don't know him, but he doesn't seem very... Uh, I mean, his mustache friendly. is all right, I guess. It's not as good as my mustache. <laughs> or Sheila's, for that matter. Sheila's <laughs> behind the bar just don't like twisting started. her curly mustache. Sheila looks fucking dope. Her mustache is the sickest <laughs> shit you have 
ever seen, dude. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful mustache. Dude, she's a short stack, bro. She was fine as hell and has the gnarliest stash. And she it matches them beautiful blue eyes. She winks at Buck. <laughs> 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 so, Miss Fields, uh, very blue eyes. she once again is like, an additional five gold if y'all find a way to get him out of town. I don't care what you do as long as you don't kill him. You kill him, we're going to have a whole lot more problems than just five monsters in the woods. So, Gabriel pulls out a smooth stone from one of his pouches and just starts rubbing it in his hand. Let, let, let's just let's just say that we entertain getting him out of town. The, what is What are you guys supposed to do about the damn monsters? Well, I suppose we may be having to hire y'all to deal with that. Or... Maybe we just let the protector deal with it. I don't know. I just don't when, like him. He slapped me. I mean, they're only here because of the creatures. If we capture or kill them, wouldn't they leave? Smart as shit for a goblin. He's right. I don't think they could have the forces to really hold this place forever. We're too deep past the line. Okay, okay. So, um... I thought they wanted the creatures to use as like a weapon. So if we kill them, aren't we even... Aren't yeah, we... I mean, they may be angry, but why stay? There's no longer something to capture, so... Do we know they were Again, there aren't resources weapon? for a long-term occupation of the town. It just feels like something the protector would do. Uh, Pete's gonna look at uh, uh, Gabriel rubbing the smooth stone in his hand, and Gabriel's gonna pull out one of his magic eyeballs, and he's gonna rub that the same way. <laughs> This relationship is strange. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. So Ugh. Gabriel just kinda of shudders when he sees the blood the eyeball. <laughs> Red, walk walk me through what's going it's through your easy. mind. I need I need to know where you're at with this. I have to I have to figure out a way to contact my superior. Because I have a I have a mission. That I'm supposed to be doing. I'm not supposed to stay here. So the issue is I don't like what this man is doing to this town, but I can't stay. And I need to find out. There's a possibility, I think, that if I can get in contact with my lieutenant, that maybe maybe they could get somebody to get him to leave. On the premise, though, potent, most likely that we would be handling it. So are you saying you need to send a letter? <laughs> <sighs> I do, and I remember how this went last time. Didn't you <laughs> hand over that, uh, that letter you wrote to the lieutenant? Correct. Yeah, that was it. the letter to inform them of the cargo, which he already knows about. I will write a new letter that is completely different. <laughs> From that time. Uh, see, this, this is the kind of it's kind of shit with the protector. It drives me nuts. All the damn bureaucracy. We got a we got another problem, sir. In case you forgot, the train's destroyed. That's our post. How you gonna get a letter? You can send a raven, but I ain't seen a raven in a long damn time. We don't have none trained here. Gabriel stands up slowly, and he turns, and he walks towards Miss Fields. Ah. He gets, <laughs> steps on these. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa there, Red. You know, she already no, got slapped her, once. He gets right at her all the way till she can see the light reflecting off of his beady eyes. And he says, Why didn't you tell me that when I went to send the first letter? You gonna smack me? You seem like you're about to smack me. I'm just like asking a her. question calmly. I told you like 17 times the post was the train. We don't got backup oh. ravens. We've been using a damn train. Oh. When you got a train to send the post, how many of y'all keep a bird just in case? Uh, everyone, Miss Fields, everyone. Well, that ain't how we do it in Wellsburg. She folds her hands and turns around. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Pete, you got any? You got any birds in there? I've seen you pull a lot of stuff out. Pete's staring off into space, having <laughs> flashbacks from when his mother and father gnomes argued at the dinner table. 
<laughs> you brought up childhood trauma. What the fuck? <laughs> Once oh, again, yeah. I just, oh, no I just birds. picture no that birds. fucking camera is slowly zooming in on his face just with that high pitch. <laughs> 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 so much expression behind those goggles it really is right <laughs> so we ain't got posts we ain't got a way for you to send a letter hmm. to your superiors however Damocles is technically your superior officer is he not mm -hmm. he is in this instance so he, what, out oh, he outranks me so I mean yeah what's protocol can... here then you gotta tell him protocol for what telling them what, what you're what? supposed to do i mean right now can he protocol is or can't he just go Ooh, wait i got an idea what if you tell him and then you tell him hey you best go get that you best go tell your your brother in the protectorate huh i don't know i'm just <laughs> spitballing here i don't miss field but, I, you might I, need I to really... get checked for a concussion it's all right you just he hit you me just with a gauntlet his fist <laughs> Eight. Yes. <laughs> Listen, this will be this this will all be made right. I spun like a fucking dreidel. She's <laughs> impressive. You are you do not weigh a lot, Miss Fields. That he pulls thanks. a dead bird out of his pocket. <laughs> oh, he's got one. I got a bird. Oh, oh, uh oh, oh. It's a little bit broken. Oh, uh, every, uh, oh. let me see. Oh. <laughs> One of the eyeballs is out of socket, and he pokes it back in and hands it to Zeus. Mm. Careful. It's my only one. <laughs> <laughs> I believe between the two of us, we may be able to create some sort of horrific automaton. Like a homunculus servant? Essentially. Pete looks at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> it's an it's an artificer thing. It's literally a thing we can create. We can just basically create a horrible bird monster to go send the letter. Miss Fields just is just staring at you guys, uh, not sure what what is even happening. <laughs> I'll so, just need to do another ritual, and I need more skin. Uh, I will need That's some unrelated. ears, I... wire. Copper, um, and coffee. Uh, I need a fucking you... drink. She walks away. Yeah, I'm with you. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming over. <laughs> Very oh, tiny man. bones. We need more <laughs> bones. Oh, excuse me. The shift button works pretty yeah, damn I well. I was, it was, I was operating you do the famous. shift button thing. Uh, okay, so click your character. Make sure you're, you're uh, on token controls on the left-hand side. Yeah. Uh, click your character, yes. and then when you click and drag to move them, hold down shift and just drop them wherever they need to go. Oops. Uh. And that'll put you in a place that doesn't align with the grid. And then once you're in that place, you can do the you know control and shift to rotate around. Get uh. from behind the bar! Get! Get! Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, just jumping everywhere. I can't help it. Hey, do, do you have any small animal bones? Like, leftover from anything? What the hell kind of service you think we got here? Well, you have a trash can, I assume. Well, what about those antlers up on the wall? Gabriel points up to the, the rack I'm hanging out. Will that work? That'd be a big-ass bird, Red. Well, I well, it's gotta like fly we a long shave way. them down. The bones would also be too heavy. Ideally, we need pigeon birds or pigeon well, bones. you ain't taking Buckeye. You ain't taking him. <laughs> My father shot him fairs and squares, and you ain't taking Buckeye. He's my Don't best sell friend. chicken wings? No, we only serve groat. You want to hear the menu? DM worked hard on it. Okay. Sick. On the menu, we have for breakfast, eggs and groat. Five silver. For lunch, we have groat and cheese sandwiches, five silver. And for dinner, we have groat loaf and taters, eight silver. We also have fine glasses of groat milk, five copper. Groat coffee, five copper. Groat wine, one silver. And groat ale, also one silver. Don't ask how we turn the groat milk into wine or ale. Just taste it. Um, okay. I will, I will have a 
Do I have any more? Where did Calamity's yes, get that sausage? You have a fucking dime, Gabriel. Neither do you, Zeus. <laughs> I do. I was just giving ten. Oh yeah, you were just giving money. I was just giving ten I'm going to confidently gold. order uh, a groat ale, and then I'm gonna look at Buck and be like, "You wanna spot me this time?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, <clears throat> Sheila, two 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 groat ales, please. Uh, Miss Fields <laughs> looks over red and then back at Buck. Everybody's got at least one friend just like him, don't they? He ain't never gonna pay you back. She orders a drink and Sheila tosses it over. Uh, all right, so what did you guys all want? In friendship. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm ordering two ales. Two ales. So, right. and one straw, please. So the ales are one silver each. So just subtract that from your. Okay, hold bag. on. How many gold is a silver hundred? To ten, I think. A ten. Uh, somebody that knows D and D, tell me. <laughs> I think they're all ten. Yeah, so 10 silver is one gold? Uh, 10 silver, one gold. Okay. Yes. So then... Wait. So... Oh, it should be... Eight. Okay, there we go. Okay. I can see in the okay. chat log just everybody's numbers going crazy. <laughs> I, just, I just converted all my stuff to silver just to make it easier. This man just knows how to do just things. Like, I don't, I don't like even know how to gonna, do that. You just go into your inventory and your character sheet and edit your money. Oh. Yeah. I just give myself a bunch of money. <laughs> she slides you all the uh, all the drinks that you guys want. Heck yeah. Uh, y'all uh <laughs> y'all y'all <laughs> having some money troubles? She twirls her mustache. Yeah, we took uh, a job somewhere. Uh, escorting some packages on a train and it didn't work out. <laughs> Miss Field nudges. She kinda like does that like like st- that like stop it slap onto Pete. She's, now you know that weren't my fault. I cannot voice two southern women with this different accents. You guys, this is <laughs> I'm <laughs> <over>. <laughs> uh, Pete's gonna s- slam down a uh, five copper, I think. Grow milk. All right. In a dirty glass. What the? Fuck? Okay. Ew. She grabs the nastiest glass she can and she looks at it and she's like, ah. Mm, it's pretty damn clean, so she just spits in it and then pours the milk in it and then hands it over. Mm. He's going to drink it through his handkerchief. <laughs> You're like waterboarding yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you got that. You got Gabriel sipping his beer up through his helmet through a straw. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm uh, just drinking like a, a, a normal person. <laughs> Should I have wine, please? Yep. She slides you over. Check his ID. Wine is also one silver. All I right. Don't think, I don't think he's a goblin <laughs> drinking age. I, how did God? I don't really know. I don't. Fuck it. You should become uh, uh, the goblin drinking more... age is newborn. Well, you're already drinking with the cops. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Whistle spurs. A dram lost. Real says, hmm? The what? <laughs> <laughs> she uh, tosses over a, a, a glass of uh, wine to Zeus. Uh, oh God! Thank you. I should so, throw it to me. Miss Fields. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Throw a glass of wine at me. So Probably racist, because you're a goblin. goblin. In town. I'm, the, I'm the nicest goblin, and everyone's just a dick. So Miss Fields uh, turns around and, and goes, All right, let's recap here. I'd like to pay y'all five silver each, except for the red, because fuck that guy, to get Damocles out of town. That was five, you said five gold. gold. Did I say go? Oh, oh! Did I say yes. silver? I meant to say gold. Oh, sh- shoot! That was an accident. <laughs> Five platinum. No. Miss Fields, you need to lie down. I don't feel good. <laughs> she just. Yeah, like, I'm not. Uh, I'm not 100 sure you're supposed to drink with a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think that through. Y'all make sure I don't die in my he sleep. He would tonight. know. He is a rodeo champion. Wouldn't we talk you know about, about that concussions? What's there to talk about? First of all, why was you hiding that? Second of all, y'all, this is Buck Truehole, Rodeo champion of Rodango. Yeah, you can keep repeating it. It doesn't help. I don't know who that is. I know y'all saw the damn billboards. Come on now. They were like, nope, the, the billboards are too tall. Can't cut, see them. Cut to like eyes. on the train, like the biggest billboards you've ever seen with neon lights, <laughs> <laughs> like pointing at him at Buck's face, smiling and grinning. Buck Truehold, Rodeo Star. 
The blanket like, we pulled from the train was a buck blanket. <laughs> like Abe's Odyssey level of advertisements all around. Yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> it's literally amazing. the canvas in Zeus's backpack just has his face on it. <laughs> still doesn't know. You guys, none of you still have any clue who the hell he is. Pete says, uh, yep, nope. Um, I don't know Bill. And, uh, no boards. Oh, huh. right. Well, I knew a board once. <laughs> goblin? Sounds like goblin name. Hmm? No, no, it was board. a base of plywood. Oh. So, so <laughs> what was your question there, Miss Fields? I, uh... What? So what's the game plan then? Look, I... Y'all don't have to do it, but I'd like you to. Just get Damocles out of here. I'll give you five gold each. I need cash. My way of thinking is if we could just get him to leave, that's that's step one to figuring out this situation. I don't I don't suspect he's going to do much but get in our way as long as he's here. He is not a very helpful man. He is extremely crass and rude and hits women. I want my bedroom back. And he took your damn bedroom. He took our bedroom. Sheila is like, where the hell smalls? What's a smalls? Oh, fuck. Sorry. <laughs> I, I tried to take a... <laughs> Jess brought me dinner, and she brought me soup, and I took a bite, and it was boiling lava. You took a bite of soup? Well, biting <laughs> soup is probably your first mistake. <laughs> Goddamn barbarian! <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm currently dealing with third degree burns in and around my mouth. So I misspoke. Are you eating it with a fucking fork too? No, I'm eating it with a spoon. <laughs> I'm imagining. I'm and imagining I blew on uh, it and everything. I imagine him eating, biting soup and just going. <laughs> <laughs> well, we know what he did. He went, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, okay, 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 okay. Pete's going to, uh, he's going to, like, tuck and roll under, um, <laughs> under, under Buck and Gabriel, and he's going to stand on the bar, and he's going to say, okay, I've got a plan. Get the hell off the bar, shoot! Shoot! These are boots. He, <laughs> Sheila looks at, uh, <clears throat> at, at Pete and, and immediately changes her tune. Never, never mind, never mind, never mind. I don't want no trouble, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> She goes to doing something. Bar he picks things. up a dirty glass, drinks out of it, says, uh, as soon as he figures out how to do this, he's going he's gonna to stand on the bar. <laughs> <clears throat> and say, all right. If Clamides wants our bedroom so much, he can have it, but not before we get in there and make it look like he's got some other guests that are no longer alive. Did you call him Clamides? Clamides. Yep, that's his name. Are you suggesting that what? we stage um, uh, like a murder in his room? Uh, only if that murder was 50 years ago and uh, the unfortunate victim uh, uh, has oh, uh, un... Yes. Thanks, ghosts. Yeah. yeah, he's talking about ghosts. Um... Uh, Unresolved. Do you think we can scare uh, him out of town? Do you world. think a ghost would frighten a knight of the protector? Yeah, 100%. I imagine a large amount of psychedelics would, with the right kind of persuasion. See, that just makes my plan 100% better. You gonna roof him? <laughs> so. Well, no, not roof I mean, like look, mushroom. Get, you make him straight. trip out of his mind, and then you give him the right kind of suggestion, and then he has a really bad trip and leaves. We're gonna. Drug and haunt <laughs> Lieutenant of the Protectorate. Lieutenant Dam. <laughs> Lieutenant Dam. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lieutenant Dam's gotta go. <laughs> that was not intentional. <laughs> mm. Ice cream. So y'all are gonna, <laughs> So y'all are gonna drug and and spook a hardened lieutenant of the holy order of the protectorate. I think this is the best to way to handle it without him getting hurt. A man who has four guards. Or me get hurt. A man who is oh. directly the superior of Red here. Y'all want to attempt to drug him and then say boo? No, yeah, we're not going to say boo. I like superstitious people. That's 
true. <laughs> <clears throat> I think it's going to be, I think it's harmless and could help us uh, return to the mission at hand. I don't because then they will, the ones them. that were left could entrust us to take care of the problem. Indeed, we should it's a breakdown of command. Completely gloss over the issues with non-consensually dosing someone with drugs. Like non-consensually slapping someone across the room? Mm. 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 Well, mm. yeah, I think we. I see he has it coming. <laughs> <laughs> this D and D game has been updated for a modern audience. D and D one. We're playing it. <laughs> you saw it here first, folks. I'm so upset they didn't call it D six. Oh my god! I'm so mad. Why yeah, didn't well, they call no, it D six? I could have never heard that. Why did you tell me that? <laughs> it's, it's been fucking with me, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. Now I have a light burning in my soul. <laughs> and it will never. It will and never. And they, they could oh, have wow. even incorporated their whole one thing and called it 1D6. Holy Stop. shit. Yep. Dude, are you a fucking genius, dude? Are you crazy? No, no, no. Do you remember the, do you remember the just, biting just, soup thing? Just a yeah. Good point. Good point. <laughs> It's Listen, just a balance, you know? There's a yeah. balance to it all. <laughs> I'm what they call a savant. I'm not good at anything else. Sheila throws some dice on the counter. Y'all want to play a game? The, um, this is... What a... Sorry, what? Come yes. Oh, Come sorry, good. sorry. She scoops up the dice and goes back to doing stuff. Continue with your mumbling. What? What? This woman is out of control. She needs to lay down. She is currently staring directly at the wall. That's Ms. it. Fields, can I take you somewhere that you could, you could, you could rest? Wait. So wait. Oh, okay, I'm confused. Who who wanted she, to play she, a game? Sheila said that, not Miss Fields. Oh. Okay. Well, okay. I'm trying. I really should have changed. We're trying to put a plan together here. I'd appreciate it if you stopped trying to hit on our boss. I mean, we could. We could probably play a quick game of dice. I mean, what's the harm? Um, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. Slowly turns back around. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> say dice? Oh, God. Hearing <laughs> 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 flip. <laughs> I'm just going to sit on top of Gabriel's shoulder. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> while it seems like y'all is, is trying to overthrow the entirety of the protectorate, thus putting this town in grave danger and haunting my saloon forevermore, I think maybe we should do something fun. <laughs> it, it would be a tourist shoulder attraction. Here as go. What? We could actually create another revenue source yep. for this town. Oh by yeah! Turning it into a tourist destination. Yeah, people people lines up all the time to see ghosts. Oh shit, they do. People love haunted houses, right? Not <clears throat> me. <laughs> it's a and you could have. It's not could, really haunted, this, though. And ma'am, this may be too soon, but you could use the story of the train crash. Wow, uh, Red. <laughs> I'm just thinking here. I'm just trying to help the group, fellas. Do you guys think there's the, like 15 uh, dead people? Mm -hmm. They were my friends. Do you guys, they will all hopefully rest gently. And Do you guys their think deaths could have more the, meaning. The face it would be a good way to commemorate them. Be one of our actors. In what fact, was that, yes. Pete? Speak up. Miss <laughs> 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 Fields like recoils. Ugh. Do you guys think um, uh, the guy that I sewed the face into his knee would be an actor for us? Because that's pretty creepy, I'm just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, uh... You chose to, to, to do that, though, to him. It was the only way to save his life. <laughs> you know... You are a doctor. Maybe, maybe doctor Pete's on to something. Both. Maybe we just let the protector handle those five things. And we could just start ourselves a haunted house tour. It sounds great. We could probably make a lot of money. Yep. There, you can't get here by train, so nobody would ever find us. Wait, 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 wait. We could call it uh, Sheila's Believe It or Not. 
It's fantastic. She left what if I learn how to build entire city sculptures with matchsticks? <laughs> Sheila gives a thumbs up. She's so on board. <laughs> Miss Fields, however, is like, no, no, no. This is not what I'm suggesting we do. We are not turning the town that I'll, uh, I live in into some sort of circus attraction while this dickhead is still outside. Five gold. I'll leave. It. Mm. I'll up it. Six gold. <laughs> Each. If you get him out of town. I don't care if y'all do your, your stupid Ripley's Believe It or not, but I want him <laughs> okay. gone. Uh, who, who's Ripley? Main character of Metroid? Never mind. What's what? What's a Metroid? Seven gold What's each. a Metroid? Plus expenses. Ugh! She storms off. Did you just jump into the fire? The fire? Nope, she, she <laughs> jumped over, she backflipped over the fire and just oh, storms so off. So nimble. <laughs> Everybody's flipping so much. Dude. Very acrobatic grid. Yeah, the grid's not quite aligned. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. Oh. all right. So, guys, right. I, I feel Somebody like this plan is ideas. taking on a whole new life that's outside of what <laughs> we, we 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 should try to do here. I, 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 I do like the scare him out of town bit, though. That could buy us some time. Now that there's only one female NPC, Sheila looks over you guys and goes, I, for one, think that is a great idea. Maybe we can even turn that into some sort of internal revenue thing. I could make some money off of this. We can get old Johnny Face Knee to do his thing. We can get Dickhead out of town. Sheila gets, I mean, Miss Fields gets happy. And, and, uh, and where the hell is Smalls? Sheila, who is get, Smalls? What's a Smalls? Did the ghosts get him? Wait, there aren't really ghosts, are there? Wait, are there real ghosts? What the fuck is the plan? <laughs> Gabriel is I thought we were going nervous. to drug and terrify the, the guy. Then that would leave Gabriel in charge so he can command the rest of the guys. I thought that was a pretty solid plan. But y'all going to terrify him with fake ghosts plan. or real ghosts? Uh, did, did, did the details have, have not been sorted out no. yet, but I believe you will not be haunted. For long. Yep. But... Tell y'all what, we play a game of dice. If y'all win, we do it. If y'all don't win, we don't. We, I don't know. I don't, we'll figure that out. Y'all wanna play dice? Yeah. Who's up first? Okay. I'll play. Uh, I, Gabriel is uh, not really done any uh, public gambling before, so this isn't. Roll them, boys. Roll two d six. If you get a 7 or you get a 12, you win. I got a 7! Fuck this game. She throws a bottle across the room. <laughs> I got... Wait, are you I got shitting a seven. me? Seven. Are you shitting I got me? Eight. <laughs> oh, buck. <laughs> so what do I get? I, I'm... I guess. Well, this this seems like a democracy, so it looks like democracy won out. I guess y'all get to do the thing. <laughs> All right, who's got the drugs? Wait, 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 um, wait, 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 wait. I have another I, idea. I don't know if the DM is allowed to make ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the bartender. What? What if? I mean, women. What? What? <laughs> if, wow. What if? What if? What if? <laughs> What if, what if, we play darts? What? I, I don't. Okay. I don't know. I'm just trying to, trying okay. to have a good okay. time. Um. I like games. I'll play Buck. darts. Buck, Buck, you're a celebrity, yes, right? Yes, sir. He seems to really like you. What of you? Um, I don't know if he said you'd marry him or something. Ooh, uh... Buck. That's it. Listen. What if? We I, need you, I'm we need not you, looking you, for an engagement. Or I don't like need it. you to do. Listen, to, look, Pete. Pete's gonna handle the spooking. I mean, have right. you seen his mustache? It's nothing. <laughs> Fuck, yeah, listen to me. Is... You're right, but you apparently are a very famous person, and I'm gonna need you to be that persona today. I need you 
I need you. Listen now. I need you. We're gonna have you, uh, like have dinner with them, right? What the oh fuck? God! <laughs> the door the opens fuck? and then closes, <clears throat> and then mud stumbles in and just falls over on the floor. <laughs> We just need. Uh, <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I just, I just, just need you, man. Is just that yours? Them. Just, just smooth them a little bit. Just, just you know, One have dinner with the them and tell them, the projector, it's all great for a minute. That way, he's paying attention to you. And then Zeus, Zeus, come here, Zeus. Is it dead? Zeus, it's it's, <laughs> it's mud from earlier. The kobold, he is drunk as shit. He's just passed out on the floor. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't dead. <laughs> Z, I need you to get oh. the whatever oh. you're gonna do in the food and give it to him. Then after dinner, when he gets all schmoozy or whatever, he gets all messed up on whatever y'all do. You, I don't know what you guys have or what the effects are like, but I'm thinking. If on the way up, he so happens to run into uh, Nub, the the, the man, <laughs> the man that we saved earlier with the nubs, Johnny throw Face off, Nubs, throw off his his uh, his good time. Then when he gets in the room, he'll be primed and ready to go for him for spooking. I like that you guys are in this like little huddle right now. <laughs> uh, or you can just tell him you're gonna marry him. <laughs> That may go too go far. Maybe he's too know, excited, Pete. Um, Nas Vegas. I feel like maybe, maybe it's too obvious, but I feel like maybe we glossed over, you know, just asking him to leave. Yeah, he's oh yeah, go go ahead. Dead on the creatures. Go ahead, Buck. <laughs> I can't. What do you want me to? What do you want me to do? I, I'm just saying. I mean, I feel like I we. Got, I feel like we jumped real here. far to like we we. <laughs> Jump straight to damn near poisoning the man. He he well, did literally just slap a woman across the room for no reason. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you, fellas. I would never hit a woman, but I mean, it's kind of there was deep. a woman that deserved it. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never hit a woman unless she fucking sucked, dude. <laughs> well, what what do you got, Buck? What's your plan? <sighs> I don't know. I need to. I need to think we're, on it. We're not gonna harm him. We're just gonna we, scare the crap out of him. What the hell is it? Going? Why is it pinging Help every time Larry. I do that? Where's my character? Okay. Yeah. Uh, on top of Gabriel. Let me play my thinking song real quick. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't very long, but guaranteed to get the job done. Smoke one. Yeah. What the fuck you waiting on? Get high. Sorry. My bad. Sorry, chat. Right. <laughs> I don't know what that was. You playing your thinking uh, song? Yeah. You want me to give you a performance check? Yeah. All right. <laughs> oh, oh no. no! It's not a good thinking song. Ooh. <laughs> it is so bad. It's so bad that Mud wakes up, walks over to you, and just slams his hand down on the uh, the piano, pulls the the little cover back over it, and just stares at you. You know when the last. Last time this thing got tuned, that sounded awful. Mud farts. Yeah, that sounds about right. He falls back asleep. Dunk! Just drops his head on the keyboard. Uh, well. Buck, I'm going to be honest with you. That was, uh, that was terrible. That was the worst damn thing I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> and I've been alive that... for 180 years. God, God damn. Definitely didn't get famous playing piano. Piano. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, you're a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> Listen, he's a rodeo champion. And you're kind of <laughs> ugly, too. Wow. You could have done a little bit better if your fingers didn't look like sausage rolls. Sheila. Sorry. Speaking the hell's gotten into you? <laughs> I'm being sassy. I'm Sheila. <laughs> we should go ahead and poison it's the not, guards. He's talking like Miss Fields now. <laughs> Y'all two been around each other too much. Ducks of a feather. She turns around and gets, <laughs> is, I don't know, doing bartender stuff. Hey, Wiping hey. the table. All right. Excuse well, let's. Excuse me, ma'am. Yep. 
Um, are there caves, mushrooms, around here? Or in the mountains? You, what, how the heck? I'm a bartender. You want cave you mushrooms? You best go talk to mud. Anything? Uh, you guys can hear it from the car. No. Mud just mud. She's got to wait till it rain, rains. <laughs> quiet poot. Hey, hey, Buck. Mud's fart should... was prettier oh, than so... your song. What's up? You're... <laughs> I don't know why everybody's piling on right now. I'm <laughs> just trying to do some quiet thinking. You know what you shouldn't have piled on? That piano. <laughs> Did you think? <laughs> or was it so bad? <laughs> God damn. Fuck just, he is <laughs> clenching his fists and just. <laughs> uh, Zeus, were you poking mud? I oh, put yeah. my, I just put my L Buck shoulder, and I'm like, we're all good at something, you know. So Zeus pokes mud, and he kind of slowly stirs, lifts his head back up. There's drool coming okay. from his mouth it's all over the piano, and he just kind of turns around. He's still holding a bottle of booze, and he looks at Zeus. Mm. Uh, caves, mushrooms, where? Mm. Drink. Uh, he points at you. Asking? You've, you've got one in your hand, man. More! Uh, what do you want? Drink double fisting with the boys! He starts playing the piano. Double fisting with the boys! Bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Mud's double fisting! Mud dogs drinking! Double <laughs> with the boys. Hey, but I like his song. You should take some pointers. It's the ball. Oh, hold, hold on, hold on. <laughs> it is slightly better than Buck's song. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my bald commoner came up. That's weird. <laughs> Cuz he's. Can, where's can that I hat? Have ale, please. Shame. Yeah, she tosses you one. Listen, I don't want to encourage alcoholism, but I don't think he's okay, like physically, unless he's uh, drunk. I don't really understand him. Just anyway, uh, that'll be one silver, please. He he's a cobbled. He'll be fine. What the fuck did you just say? <laughs> it's a pronounced cobbled. Oh whatever. A cobbled? I'm sorry. Are you are you green? Are you green? Yeah, like Buck cobbled okay. that piece of shit song earlier. <laughs> All right, listen here, you little shit. You got a fucking problem, Pete? Here Tell is me your ale. <laughs> the song's over. <laughs> Bud snatches the ale and gulps it down and then clears his throat. <clears throat> Gentlemen, it is me, your friend and arms dealer, Mud. How do you do today? Uh, I, I need to know where to find poison mushrooms. Poison mushrooms, my dear boy. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, hold on. I keep, keep it, keep it down there, boy. Well, you're. I don't know screaming. if you noticed, but the fucking cops are out tonight. A lot of them, even. A lot of cops tonight. A lot of cops tonight. I did did notice? Yes. Indeed. There's one right behind you. <laughs> you foolish boy. <laughs> eh, he's this okay. man. This man is special. Anyway, the drugs. ask him, uh, Zeus, ask him about the mushrooms. Of I, course I, I know where, I, I, I where poisonous mushrooms are. I'm a fucking dinosaur man. <laughs> Naturally. Take one look of at course. me. Don't I look like the type that knows where little poisonous mushrooms are? Oh, there's only one one bit, a, a, a little, there's a bit. Uh, he throws up all over the piano. Oh, God. <clears throat> there is only one problem. You see... The mushrooms are guarded by a bunch of fucking kobolds. Uh, uh like, like, like nice ones. Like they're actually like fucking or like yes. Is that like a, yeah. a, a using as a verb or? Yeah, yeah it there. I it was uh they're cope. You know kobolds. They're known for their. They're fucking... maiden. They're maiden. Yep. 
but also they, they do be they're real people. pieces of shit. They kicked me out of my home when I was but a lad, thus resulting in me being here. They are fucking assholes. All oh, of them. oh, so oh, well, I mean that's you know that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Are you judging kobolds fucking assholes? They can fuck whatever they want. The problem yeah, isn't that saying, they're fucking yeah. assholes; it's that they're mean. It's 2022 no. or something. Or something, yeah. They can, they, can, they can fuck what they want. Yeah. I I would be okay with visiting them. I I haven't had Scaly in a while. What? Uh -oh. What? What is... I don't want to... Is that like I don't uh, want, I don't some kind of slang for hooking Gabriel. up with him? All right, he's gone. <laughs> Gabriel's just shaking his head. He's like, nope, I don't. I don't want to ask. I don't want to ask him about it. It's <laughs> goblin culture, and I uh, it's it's a whole thing. <laughs> Did that piece of shit just allude to the idea that perhaps he eats my kind? No, I think he was oh, talking yeah. about <clears throat> mating. Oh, yeah. If you mean like oh, yes. eat, like you know, like some scaly hanky panky. Does he eat kobold booty like their groceries? It's a cloaca. Yes. <laughs> oh. It, 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 it is technically a cloaca, if you needed to know that. Anyway, <laughs> if you'd like some poisonous mushrooms, you can just simply leave town. It's about a, a day and a half ride. You'll have to make sure you have all the rations you need to not starve to death out there. Mm. Day and a half? We'll be gone for... Over three days. It's a very long time when you're living in a western town with nothing to do. What will you do without a Game Boy, pussy? Sorry, that's the What's alcohol talking. Are you hey, Mike, can you play us another song? You got it. <laughs> it's not very slightly good, better. but it's, he's slowly getting better. It's like the alcohol is making him improve. Eat What's... the booty like groceries. Slob on my knob like it's caught on the cob. Do you like? <laughs> yeah, give, start clapping a little bit. That was nice. Thank you. Yep. So is, is that the plan here, fellas? We're going to... Oh, that's... I'm going to go, go through a bunch time of... Journey to... I don't know, go Buck. Have drugs. you had time to mull it over? Listen, I, I'm, I'm fine with... You seem real opposed to it. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't want to marry the man, you know, it's... I did not suggest that. Very strange that those are your only two that. options. Well, I mean, that, you know... <laughs> I don't think I mean... marriage was ever on the table, Buck. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> we could build a bomb, but I just, just don't totally feel like table. that's where Wait. we're at. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Let's build okay. a fucking okay. bomb, brother. You want to build something? <laughs> and he does another flip across the room. <laughs> and stands on top of the piano. It's covered in uh, it. Just covered in it. He stands right in there. Uh, like he would have a problem with that. <laughs> I love viscera and gore. Um, no, it's not there. and stuff. Oh, uh, my idea. Uh, <clears throat> what if we built a train? <laughs> just gonna build a train. That only faces out of town and honor Clamides with the inaugural ride on our train and then just send him. Pete, do you also need to lie down? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I've made three ideas. I'm, I'm not sure he's that stupid. I say fuck it, let's poison a man. <laughs> You, mud, you, you, you would mud. You're not even involved in this. <laughs> I've been drunk I since I was born. I no, appreciate I your input, mud. <laughs> I'm part of the team now. But unless you could sell us mushrooms, I don't. You, you won't. We won't really need you. I can tell right you how now. to get there. You just have to kill my entire family. Nope. 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 It's a I great idea. Did I mention that they have a wyvern? I'm gonna what? Attempt, I know somebody that rides wyverns. I want to attempt to. Oh. What, what kind of what kind of wyvern are we talking about there, Mud? A dirky. <sighs> what does that mean? It's a dirky type wyvern. Yeah, that didn't help. I'm a kobold. Why would you ask me? <laughs> I mean, you said it like you knew what it meant. We call them durkies. 
I don't know that sounds racist. I don't have a copy yeah. of Encyclopedia Britannica, but we call them Durkies. Well, that changes everything. I think we should go see these kobolds and, uh... Oh. You know, just start see, see what they have to offer. Do you like Scaly, as... too? <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel plays yet another really bad song. I told you the damn thing ain't tuned right. Well, yeah. I just don't know Jeez, what I'm do, doing. All right, hold on, hold on. Do me a favor, Zeus. Can, can you tune this damn thing for us? And let me, I'll, I'll show you how it's supposed uh, to sound. I can certainly try. All right, yeah. Absolutely no idea what to roll. I don't. I don't either. <laughs> what the maybe. Fuck? Uh, maybe. Why the hand? That, that that would be. Let's 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 say. Or investigation or fucking the investigation. I feel like makes the most. Yeah, of. investigate. That that fucking makes okay. sense. Because if you can investigate it successfully, then you know how to fix it. Boy, you know how to Boom. fix it. All right. So All I'm right. Get there with my little tools and I tweak it a little bit. It's good on Chang, Chang. All right. Let's see what well, let me got. show you. Uh, Pete, could you? You're standing all over your damn keys. You you may want to wipe off the vomit. Yeah. Gabriel leans up against the hearth. He's waiting for the performance of a lifetime. I just just waiting on waiting on. So what? I guess the fuck I guess are I could, doing? <laughs> I guess I could just play around him. <laughs> Trying to wait for Pete to move. He's dancing. <laughs> damn it, Pete! They can't hear my damn song. <laughs> you oh, should, 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 I do that, should I do that with advantage? Because I fixed it. Sheila comes around from across the bar, and is just like, "Enough! Get away from the damn <laughs> piano! Get away! I've had enough!" What? We were just trying to serenade you. Nope, we're done. Sweet Sheila. So we. Sweet, sweet Sheila. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, goose He's just gonna jump up and down. It breaks the piano the again. And Sheila, <laughs> Sheila is, is, she just slams a spatula down on the table and says, Get out! All of you! Now, get She's out! Beat you with that spatula. Y'all got to go! Get on out! You too, mud! I'm uh, sick the, of your the, shit! The, the door is, uh. It's... I, I, I can't. Oh, jeez. Is this, a, is, this, is this a back door? <laughs> you guys are in the void. <laughs> Gabriel is terrified. He, he can't operate this door. <clears throat> <laughs> Sheila was closing in on him. If there was anything I knew, it was doors. And now, <laughs> now I, I know nothing. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well. I think we got it all sorted out. Oh, God! Oh, God! <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are just the guards. It's just the okay. guards, don't worry. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thought it was a Gray Fox. <laughs> the, guard, the guards are looking at you guys, and they look pissed. They're like, God, fuck, dude. Oh, we were waiting for the lieutenant to go to sleep so we can get some fucking beer. And you guys just fucked that up. Thanks a lot, dickheads. You know, honestly, like, I know that, like, we might be portrayed as the bad guys, but, like, who's really the bad guys here, dude? You know? Wait, what did we do? What the hell are you on about? The, the whole damn gonna... bar's closed. She closed. Look at her. You can see in the window, like, Sheila flips the sign over. It says closed. There's nothing oh. but trouble in there, gentlemen. Right. Technically, that's the Cabal's fault. He, he puked everywhere. Screw where is I? Where is Mud at? He's going to light go? up a cigarette. And... Uh, the door opens well, he... up, and Mud is thrown out. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to oh. pull out an... Hey there unlit cigarette and he's gonna look at the guard next to him and say you got a light the guard just looks at Pete and says no that's fine he's gonna like press the digitate a light or something I don't know he's, gonna, <laughs> he's just gonna light it with his finger I have a light uh, that's fine um I have a light All right. well, good luck good luck staying at the hotel what? Hold, hold the hell on huh you got you got some some type of rations we could buy at your shop yeah. Yes. Well, I guess we ought to head head all over to Muds. But what what the hell do you call it? The Mud Shack. The mud sh Muds place. Muds Shack. Uh -huh. Muds Junk Shack. I just call it home. 
Alright, well. That's nice mud. Are we going to reckon, my house? Yeah, I reckon we go over there, get some supplies, and we head on out to get these. Can one of you spot me like $30 to grab a 30 pack of Bud Light? On the way, since uh, we're going. Sto- uh, I'm all you dry. Own, you own the, the shop that I don't under... Yes, but I sell bullshit, not glorious Bud Light. So where do they sell the... Sheila sells it. Well, Sheila's closed. You fucking suck. <laughs> I look back at Pete and I just, like, motion him towards us. Oh, Pete. Mud just takes off without you guys. He is looking surprisingly spry despite being, like, like s- several years drunk. See? You guys what are heading to Mud's then? Yeah. Right, we'll just we... skip that then. I was going to talk to this guy and, like, tell him about the haunting and stuff. But <laughs> Do you, uh, you want to do that? No, it's, I'm, it's, I'm over it now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I can't reach Lost your the mind. inspiration. <clears throat> Which is funny. No, I was I was doing it, and then everybody else just kind of you actually have the other stuff. I thought you were just smoking a cigarette. I'm yeah, shooting the shit with a guy. Speak words. Good. Got to speak words. I did. Didn't hear him. Speak them louder. I mean, we can rewind. All right, it's all good. No, we'll just pretend I did it. <laughs> all right. All no, right, I'm well. gonna have us sit here and revel in this glorious awkwardness you've committed. <laughs> no, go ahead. Talk to the guard. That's good. No, go ahead. Nope. Not happening. Hey, buddy, I've got a lighter now. <laughs> I'm gonna stab him in the fucking throat. Do you want to interrupt the rest of the session? I'm gonna stab. I've him got in a the lighter. Throat. I didn't even. I didn't even have to press the digit. Whatever it. You fucking pussy. Press I'm straight edge digit. anyway, bro. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what is it? Oh. What a badass guard. Straight edge. But he has X's on either side of his name. And I bet they all got tattoos on their wrists. Absolutely. Each and every one of them. You guys make it to Mud's place. Wow, we're so tiny. Hold on. Let me zoom in. There we are. Mud's right, place is bigger than it used to be, I think. Mud has definitely Indeed. upgraded. Is he kind of like Nook? <clears throat> Does somebody here pay him? For living here? Yeah. Well, well, it's, uh... it's the same sign on the door? Yep. All right. Oh, man. Mud unlocks the door and scrambles over behind the counter. Come on, come on, come on. Yep, still a mess. Mud, just this like is I remember a... it. Just like I remember it. You <sighs> look like you've cleaned up some stuff off the floor, though, which is nice. No, I didn't. What? Did you not? Nope, so gross. Wow. So gross, especially this thing right there. That That's real dinner. Gross. Oh, for like tonight, every right, night man. for a year. <laughs> oh, no, I have it. yeah, go. You, okay, just you got to buy it though. Go, get back over here. This just in, I have lighters for sale. I have so a lighter on one. my arm. But he can press the digitate it. Alright, so uh, Mud offers you guys to, uh, to fucking buy some rations. Uh, so, mm-hmm. let me get this clear. You guys are going to the, the place to deal with the kobolds to get the poison from the mushrooms that the kobolds grow, deal with the wyvern, come back to town, Use the mushrooms to poison the Lieutenant Damocles of the Red of the Red Knight Protectorate, so that he hallucinates, so that he sees ghosts and leaves town. Mud, that is a very a succinct jail. retelling of of the plan. A very uh, solid plan. You... I can see nothing going wrong. <laughs> seeing as you were very drunk no. when we were talking about well, now that, that before. Now I, I don't that think way. that stopped. You know when you, <laughs> when you, put it when you spell it out like that, it doesn't. <laughs> Sounds kind of a little more complicated than I thought it yeah, would. Yeah, we should uh, we should get a new plan. I don't I don't know about. How complicated is it? Kill cobalts, get mushroom, make poison, poison, run away. It's not that hard. Yeah, there's a couple of steps, but it's not calculus. How do you guys have rations? Buck should marry him. We uh, I have a day's worth. <laughs> Wait, let me figure. I got no, I have two days worth. Great. No, yeah, just have, one day's worth. I have two one day rations. Uh. I have. Wait. You know, I think I have one one day. 
I have 10 one day rations. I thought I had more. Did we eat a whole bunch or something? <laughs> Sheila's been feeding us. Yeah. Sheila's such a nice lady. So do you have guys need rations or no? Probably. I mean, yeah. Tell you How much what, is the you... thing that will feed me for a whole year? You'll have to defeat me. In arm defeat wrestling, you. dude. And what right. do you mean, defeat you? If you want to arm wrestle, if you can beat me, you can have my box of squiggly spooches. Otherwise, that is mine, Ooh. and it is delectable. So squ squiggly spooches for... Spooches! Put some respect gonna, on their names. Is that gonna is that gonna be enough to feed all of us? Ten Looks days like worth. It. For each? It's so dis disgusting for you, but yes. I mean, mm, it looks I've delicious. Had worse. Very well. It's better. You then, G gnome. No. Uh. Oh, I have. To, uh, yes, maybe. I'm talking to you. I think it was your idea, was it not? Are we Big not Red men of honor? I'm wrestling. <laughs> I don't think he has arms. Let's go. I got arms. You Let's thought go. I was going to arm wrestle the strongest man here? Stupid. No, oh, yeah, I'm I, thought, I'd I choose you. I thought it was a you, big collar. I don't, I don't know if you're aware, oh, but <clears throat> Pete is the strongest man here. What? Yeah, I mean, I've, I've he picked me up on the train and carried me out on his shoulders. Yeah, he just nods. He forced me to attack uh, a, a creature by by simply touching me. Give me a deception roll, Buck. Uh, he carries a man's flesh in his backpack. Nods again. No, fuck you, dude. I want to arm wrestle <laughs> Pete. Do you agree to this gentleman's agreement, sir? Should you defeat me in a single arm wrestling match, you may have all of my squiggly spooches. One day's worth. Wait. Ten days worth. It's a big crate. A year's worth. I've been eating it for a year. It'll last us ten days. Yes. Don't question it. <laughs> All right, Pete, you got okay. this. Pete's going to uh, set up his arm. And we'll jiggle it around a little bit, but it's able because it's his little elbow on the table. <laughs> and then he's gonna <laughs> cough into his hand. And gets blood everywhere. He pulls out his little handkerchief. Mud just fucking slams his arm on the table and like like throws everything off of the counter. Glass breaks, a knife sticks into the wall. Let's fucking go, pussy. Oh god. We're fucking arm there's wrestling, a, dog. There's a whole thing. There's a whole, whole thing. thing. <laughs> this is why I chose you secretly, because you haven't done this before. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right, so this is how this works. Competitors choose a representing color, red or blue. They each receive a number of plus one tokens equal to their constitution modifier, up to five in their color. The competitor with the highest intimidation skill gets the GUR token. If there is a tie, discard the GUR token, place the green tracking to token in the middle of the zone of the arch. I'll, I'll do that. Red or blue? Be, be red. Hold on, I'm making the green token. Oh, this, take, this takes me back to old Tree Runner. Right? It's, you say blue? Epic arm wrestle match. He said be red. red. Okay, red. Okay, so you should be able to control those red tokens in the very bottom. Can you click him and move him at all? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Try <laughs> just click and drag. <laughs> I did. Okay. Oh, they're all they're all connected. <laughs> they are all connected. No problem. I'll I'll, I'll just do it for you. <laughs> um, okay. I can't so, I can't click one. I can only click all of them. That's fucking weird. That's a foundry issue. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I okay. think I had to do this last time too. I just moved it for you. Uh, okay, so how many plus one tokens you get? You get uh, a plus one token equal to your constitution modifier. Con mod is plus two. And MUDS is zero. Oh. 
see if a number of plus one toe is equal to the constitution modifier, so it gets zero, wow. and you get two. So there's your two tokens. Uh, and the then the competitor token. with the highest intimidation skill. Oh. What is your intimidation skill? Should be the left-hand side of your uh, character sheet on the abilities tab. Sorry, I was muted. Minus one. All right. Uh, so that's actually going to go to uh, Mud. Oh, 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 oh. Put his stuff over here. Because Mud's is at zero. Wow. All right. Place the green tracking totem in the center zone of the arch. All right. So when the tracking token is on top of the arch in zone one, competitors each roll a d20 and add any strength modifiers. The competitor with the highest total number moves the tracking totem uh, token into the next zone towards their victory. In the second zone, players roll a d8, and you get the point. So right now, roll a d20 and add your strength modifier. Uh -huh. I believe. Oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, there's still some wiggle room there. There's wiggle room. No. Oh. Not, not this time. So that's going to go plus one to blue team. Uh, in the second zone, players roll a D8 at any strength modifiers and a plus one if the tracker is in the zone of their color. So it's not in the zone of your color. You cannot use your plus one tokens. All right, so now we're both going to roll a d8 and your strength modifier. Okay. Oh. God damn it. Mud is just fucking flexing. Let's go, pussy. All right. So now we're going to roll a d6 plus your strength modifier. No. Here we go. <laughs> no, mud is so strong. <laughs> what rolls? Mud slams your hand down on the counter and then just falls over, passes out, drunk. <gasps> I look over the counter. I was just trying to buy it. And I look at Pete. I'm like, <laughs> I think you could just take it. I think we should. Hey, you. I got a word for that one. Why didn't you arm wrestle him? Entrapment, I think, is, is the word. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Gabriel turns around and walks away. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't believe it's wise to steal from him. I turn anyway, back and look at. I've got all the rations I need. Here, um, and I say, I saw nothing here. And I walk out the door. <laughs> uh, I don't know about you guys, but uh, I've got 10 days worth of rations, so. I. <laughs> well. Would you fucking stanky leg out the building? <laughs> well, it sounds like we got. Plenty of rations to go around. So, uh. uh <laughs> and then tanky leg out of the building, dude. <laughs> that's, that, that's that cowboy stride, you know? <laughs> I mean, honestly, if he. If Ooh. he asks. If he asks us anything, we just. We just tell him that Pete beat his ass so hard he. Passed out from all the fucking booze. He, he won't remember shit in the morning. Well, if he remembers anything, it's gonna be that he uh, beat Pete really bad at that arm wrestling. I think Pete won. Yep, uh, I saw nothing. I remember winning. Well, uh, everybody got our story wet, straight. It'll get slapped on the bar. <laughs> Is that what you're calling Mud's arm? Did you guys get in the um? Rations. But oh, I I I thought you were getting rations for the the whole of us. No, I already had some from my backpack. 
Oh. If you guys need some, I guess I can. But yeah, we we could just share. We could... Share. <laughs> is that is that a hard word for you to say, Pete? That's very very big, of you, Pete. So... Thank you. Thank as you. long as you're all willing to share your gold. Yeah, absolutely. I already, yeah, I already bought you, you know, stuff. That's true. Right? I have the knife. Yeah. You get to eat. Excellent. So, does anybody? Uh, one one minor issue. Mud did not tell us how to get where we were getting to. Mud Got walks it. out the door and just <clears throat> drops the bat, the whole crate of squiggly spooches on the ground. Mm, take. Oh. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Mud. Mud. mud, mud, mud. Oh, wait. Wait. Mm. <clears throat> wait. Could you? Could you point us in the right direction? He closes his eyes and spins around three times and points left. And then he looks at his hand and then he points right. Oh, good. Oh, Mud, hold a second. Mm. Do you have any butter? He closes the door. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I think you offended him. I just... Oh. I, these squiggly things seem like they'd be good if you fried them. Just want it butter. Well, that probably definitely would have offended him if you told him that. So, uh... Anybody you guys, have you guys any have other... Fashions. Anybody yeah, have any here. better plans, <clears throat> or are we pursuing? Because no, I think that we came up with the best possible plan that we could have. Yeah, it's flawless. I don't know how Pete plans to haunt the man, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Oh, I have ideas. <laughs> they seem they seem to be confident in yeah, their um too. um. Abilities. Gabriel I mean, looks at Pete. <laughs> his haunting abilities or anything like his <laughs> medical abilities, I'm sure will be fine. I've uh, I've given you guys ten rations. Um, so they're actually the same. Out. Heck yeah! All right, so oh, uh, I see how it is. I mean, oh. Damn hell, do we go now? Uh, <laughs> um, he pointed that way, and then he pointed that way, so I think it's obvious. Peter gave you ten rations too. That's fine. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, well, okay, so he doesn't eat much. Let's think here. If we had our basic um, knowledge of, you know, a map, of course. And so I, I would think it should be to the east, further into already, the mountains. Mm -hmm. So I would think a cave, yeah, would be exactly east. Yeah, Whittlespur. We're basically east would be. All of you so we walk history. out to the street, huh? All of you roll me a history check. All right. Okay. Sometimes I'm like sitting here watching you guys struggle to figure it out, and I'm like, man, they can't figure it. Well, wait, I can I can help. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, y'all smart as fuck, boy. Where's history? Uh, it's under skills. Oh, there it is. Okay, thank y'all. Ah, animation showed a 17. I do not know this area. Uh, okay, so Zeus, you, you remember this one time that you dropped your lollipop and picked it up off the floor even though there was dust all oh, over it? Was... You still ate it. Um, but the rest yeah, of you uh, do recall hearing uh, whispers of a sort of kobold um, hideout uh, where they, they might have been like caught smuggling a few years back. Okay. It's, it's like west or something, I don't know. It would, yeah, well, you know, east. Yeah, well, but, yeah. It's east. Yeah, let's uh, wait. And so we'd probably, so I'd imagine we'd, I'd walk out here and look at the position of the sun and go the direction isn't of it, east. Is it day right now? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, it's day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Problem will be real dumb. So you guys are right here in Whittlespur. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's about a, uh, what did I say, a day and a half? Day yeah. And a half. So it's it's like right here. All right. So like southeast. I feel like southeast, yeah. All right. Y'all want to head in that direction? Yeah. yeah. We could. I mean, we, uh, uh, should we pack a, should we find a, 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 a groat or something to? A what? A groat. It's the, it's oh, the uh, oh. livestock of this town. Yeah. yeah. Like to bring, you mean like, like a, carry some shit? I mean, we don't have a lot on our 
our persons. I mean, I don't have money for groat. Yeah. And I mean, you if you want to see, if you want to go talk to Farmer Joe, maybe he can, he can let us borrow one. But I mean, I don't. I'll tell you what. Um, I got what's on my person, and that's farm. it. I'll tell you what, guys. I think I'm going to skip it this time because I I don't know if us or the DM wants to hear a groat the whole trip. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Because All if right, he was well. there, he would have a voice. <laughs> <laughs> Those things sounded horrendous when you <laughs> <laughs> saw them. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I thought about it, and I was like, I don't need that. <laughs> the whole trip. <laughs> so you guys, uh, are, are all of you in agreement? You're going to just begin hoofing it? Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's... Let's go get some scaling. That's the plan, yeah. We got to get the mushrooms to... Then I got a wine and dine lieutenant, and then I got to haunt him. I mean, it's foolproof. All right. There's absolutely nothing wrong with this plan. Uh, anyway. So it's about a day and a half ride. So uh, the sun quickly sets, and you guys find yourself uh, traveling the landscape of, of, uh, of somewhere in Red Rock Canyons, which is where you are. Um, there's giant uh, sort of mesas. And this this kind of looks like a, like a cross between like I don't know like Nevada and like Montana. It's like dusty, but there is grass on the ground. Um, but there's plains as far as the eye can see, uh, with the exception of a few mesas here and there. Um, it is gonna get dark though, so you guys are probably gonna have to set up camp. All right. All right. Well, you well, know, probably get up under uh, get close by to one of these mesas, you know. Put our backs to it. I'm going to let you guys figure out how you set up camp while I go take a pee break. All right. Well, I imagine uh, both Gabriel and, and Buck would be fairly decent at something like that. Why would you assume? Well, because he's you're... a cowboy. He's the rodeo champion. Surely they ride horses out in the wild. Sorry, I was, true, I was banning a bot. Um, what would what, you say? Well, I said for setting up camp, I said surely Gabriel and, and Buck would be. I know I that's all the knowledge I had in my head would would uh, be proficient at it. I actually don't know the skill level of of you, Pete. Could you? Uh, Are you there is also an actual survival person? skill. Yeah, I I mean I've been around these parts my whole life. Like set up a camp pretty easy out here. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, we our uh, our DM went to take a little a little pee, so <laughs> we uh. What do we Just have on us to set up camp? Do we have like a tent or something? I, I um, and this. We put out? Some of you guys didn't set up your intro equipment, which I feel like I f you should just be able to add. Yeah, I mean, I have a bedroll. Yeah, so that would be the. Yeah, I got a tender have... box and all that. So like, I have canvas and rope. Yeah, I have, I have like, rope. I have like over. pieces of things. I've got like, I've got like a candle. <laughs> Do you guys have anyone, anyone have any camping equipment? Tons? Yeah, I have a bedroll. I have a tender box. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do all I have a canvas sheet tender... and rope? I have a tender tender box. Oh, that's got right. You do have. Zeus does have the canvas sheet from earlier. Yeah. Yep. I got Look a blanket. That. You guys actually have just enough shit to make yourselves a nice little camp. Oh, yeah. I was thinking for a second while I was holding my wiener just a second ago that you guys don't have any camping equipment, but it turns out you do. We do. Plus, I was going to say, both myself and Buck were probably pretty proficient at, like, setting up in the wilderness. Which I feel was horribly racist against gnomes and goblins. <laughs> <laughs> actually, that being said, uh, go ahead and uh, uh, Gabriel and uh, Buck do me some uh, survive. Okay, yep, there we go. And fuck it, everybody, <clears throat> give me a survival check. Um, huh. I somehow once again lost my. Uh, you can just do it from your character menu. sheet. Yeah, it's not on this this scene, but if you just open your character sheet, press C, and then just click survival. You can do it okay, that way. Wait. 
It doesn't look like we're very good at surviving, though. So hopefully you roll a fucking nat 20. If, if Zeus and, uh, and Pete win this, I'm going to laugh at you guys for this, <laughs> this game. That's it's a pretty high chance. That's what's about to happen. Zeus is also from this area, so true. Well, so is uh, so is Buck. Well, yeah. And Gabriel's been around. Oh, holy shit! Hell yeah, dude. So while while Gabriel and Buck are like doing that thing where they're like they're like like measuring dicks on who's who knows the most about <laughs> about survival <laughs> and camping, uh, Pete and Zeus, you guys kind of get a load of the land around you and. Uh, and, and find a, a nice little location for you guys to settle down in uh, that seems nice and out of the way. It's kind of like up on a, on a plateau a little bit, like up a mesa, but not all the way up. Uh, nice little camping area. Grabbing a drink real quick. So like foreground, Buck and Gabriel are talking about like, talking a big game about how they're going to set up camp and how yeah, good yeah. they are at setting up camp. And in the background... You just see two little guys setting the camp up. Just setting camp yeah, up. We're doing that thing where we're like, <laughs> we're like shooting the shit, talking about all the camps we've set up and how great mm-hmm. they were. Dude, I know? think Coleman honestly makes like the best fucking gear. Like Coleman, <laughs> bro, are you freaking kidding me, Yeti, dude? <laughs> That's what they're doing. Back, I once packed four fifteen packs in there, dude, and they stayed cold for forty eight hours. <laughs> forty eight hours. It's so like, you know, I, I much prefer a lean-to versus a traditional uh, TP style uh, camping <laughs> setup. Uh, so you guys set up a fire? Yeah. Or you just yeah, I got a tender box. tender box. Right on. Uh, I'll, let, so I'll let. You guys can go ahead and set it. up your own little fire, do your thing, and <laughs> just gets to be, uh, you know, it's fucking nighttime. You can hear oh, crickets yeah. chirping. You can hear uh, you mean night uh, fucking time. coyotes out in the distance. <laughs> That was my impression of coyotes. <laughs> How do you think that <laughs> was that good? Oh, dude, I think donkeys everywhere are pissed right now. They, they <laughs> so heard upset. A donk, they heard a coyote, exactly. That's exactly what coyotes sound like. They sound like that. <laughs> it's dark. dark. All right. With a little fire, isn't that cute? Adorable. <laughs> so you guys can see every single star in the sky. It's nice oh, and man. peaceful out. Ah. And for the very first time since this adventure began, you guys actually have a, a bit of a second to have a goddamn conversation. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Okay, also, so that's all of you go ahead and the take, stars and the dust. All of you go ahead and take one ration. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Keep track of this shit. Okay. Use ration. Oh wait, you can you actually just use it. Oh, oh I just reduced the number, but I'll do it that way instead. All right, I'll go back up then. There we How'd go. you do that? I just went to character. Yeah, I'm clicking yeah. my ration. And then I just click the ration, and then it should. Oh, use ration. Down. Okay. Use ration. Yeah. Yeah. Usability. Use nice. ration. Beautiful. Jerky, dried fruit, hardtack, nuts. <laughs> nuts. <laughs> nuts. <laughs> Who started the fire? Me. Nice. And Zeus. <laughs> <laughs> Using the, the... Do you guys have tender boxes? To, well, I guess Zeus doesn't even need I think one. we both have a tender yeah, box. Yeah, Zeus. Robotic arm. Yeah, Zeus just kind of, like, flamed it. <laughs> yep, All I'm just right. laying back on my blanket, looking up at the stars, and so, yep, I haven't seen him like this since I was back home. Where's, uh... Where's home at, Red? Oh, back north in the... Out in the Elysian woods. Hey, check your text, dude. Somebody's texted you. Me? Yeah, red. <laughs> Just kidding. I heard a buzz. That was me. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> well, that's the dentist. Anyway. <laughs> Fuck him. Elysian Sorry. woods. That's uh, quite a ways out from here, isn't it? Oh, it is. It's a lot, lot more different here than it is there that's for sure i can't even quite i've heard of it can, can you remind me where it's at it's like 600 miles away by the way yeah it's like i was, I was trying to look on the map it's uh oh it's up the rusted coast oh just past mount saint orchard <laughs> so you get over to the the woods there it's like What's the name? 900 miles away by the way I've uh, 
I've only ever heard stories of it. I, I've, I've lived down here in the. Is that a place called Old Boot? Gallimby, my whole life. Uh, I can't say that getting out and seeing the world has been necessarily my cup of tea so far, but it's uh, it's definitely been interesting to get a, a change of scenery. Yeah, I hear you. I've just been looking at dust my whole life. Nothing I'm pretty like comfortable that. with that. You know, it's dry. Wide open. Oh, I prefer it's in your the, boots. the Exactly. I like the there's nothing like the the giant trees in the forest and the you know, the beautiful skies and the when it's daytime. When it's daytime, it's really nice out there. That sounds nice. What are the uh, what are the women like out that way? Couldn't tell you. Nobody really lives out that way. Safe for the protectorate. They let they let women in the protectorate. Sure. All the time. <laughs> Why do you ask? Women, dude, you wouldn't believe. I just, so I just wonder. I just I've never seen a. A female night of the protector. I, I haven't seen that many, to be honest with you. They come through every now and again. So but... many hot chicks in the protectorate, bro. You wouldn't believe it. Well, I can say that there's not as many as there are men. That's for sure. But it's it's mostly because of the at least for my regiment, what's required. Sometimes, you know, the the our gear and everything requires somebody that's just a bit bigger. That, uh... But there are a few. Sounds a little sexist, to be honest, but I, you know... I Not at all, what you're saying. There are the battle babies. <laughs> but they're different from what we do. My company's in charge of guarding the, uh, the woods. What? From what comes out at night. What comes out? The great beasts. Some say it's a. Some say it's a curse of the woods, but. Can you say that again? Some... My chat's being a bunch of fuckos. I'm sorry. I heard oh. the great beasts. Oh, and then I said that. Yeah, they. We believe they come for the power of the ruins. And there's a. This is the uh, protector is born. We don't know if it's true or not, but all we know is that those ruins hold great power. We are to guard them. There's a rat in your we camp. We don't have. Huh? There's a rat Ooh. in your camp. Dinner. <laughs> we. Uh, geez, we got plenty to eat. But okay, but second dinner. <laughs> so, <laughs> so here's something I, I want to know, Pete. Where the hell are you from? Um, <laughs> I don't really want to talk about it. Oh, fair enough. You hear violins playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect timing, actually. I did hear violins as you said that. <laughs> I was very immersed. Uh, gnomes, especially the kind of gnome I am, we aren't really taken kindly to anywhere. Does it only count of the all the guts and the blood or is that just like a is that like a you thing that's that's just that's me oh okay okay that's more of a professional uh quirk oh i would I say mm, quirk um, yes. i just uh i didn't know if maybe you know when you said type of gnome there was just a a whole city of yeah we're called smear yeah. from devlin what was what? that who did what's it 
Zverf Neblin. Zverf Neblin. Okay. Zverf Neblin. We're deep, Zverf deep gnomes. Snurfle? Deep gnomes. Where? Ah, oh, the deep gnomes. I've heard of them. more. Uh, more accustomed to the dark than the day. We're nomadic. So I don't really have a home as much as I am my own home. You're a turtle? Nobody can take that from me. One day I will be a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> we all got our own aspirations. I look though. over at Pete and I say, I will help you with your dream. What's bad That's is that I, I, I feel like he's completely sincere. Uh -huh. Yeah, I haven't. I'm sold. Like that's what he wants. Like I mean, he's been collecting all kind of shit. Well, why would I not believe him? You know. <laughs> it it requires pretty strong magic to add a full shell to yourself that includes everything you need to make a house and a home. But I'll get there one day. I believe. Yeah. Uh grabs one of the goggles and pulls it on the elastic so he can dab a little tear from his eye and snaps it back into his face. <laughs> Eyeballs. Anyway, what about the goblin? Out of the socket. He's probably yeah. from goblin land where they do uh, goblin yeah, stuff. A, maybe it's just because I'm from, you know, I've been living in Rodango a long time and it's a, a melting pot of cultures, but man, nobody seems like goblins around here. What the hell is going on with that? Eh. Maybe I missed something? Goblins don't exactly have the best reputation. I can't entirely blame people. Lots of rape and murder and... Well, lots more murder. Disease. They also tend not to wear pants. Doesn't That's make them popular the, parties. The mm. pants thing. Yeah, everyone's met, jealous. I've only met your kind in passing and the few the few small bands that come through the woods from time to time so, only thing worse than a goblin is a mind goblin Gabriel looks over he thinks for a second he looks, looks at Pete and says I what's a I never heard of a mind goblin mind. is that kind of like a deep gnome <laughs> 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 <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now this is pod racing. <laughs> <clears throat> the mind goblins are allied with the with the mind flayers. Oh, well, that's lore Shit. now. <laughs> <laughs> Just write that down. <laughs> hey, we uh. <clears throat> Horrible mutated things. You guys you got a hell of a lot of weird shit going on where y'all come from. Mm. Around here, we just ride wyverns, drink, catch the damn mm. dust ball game. I mean, some things come out of the deep when you mm. dig hard. I don't know, man. I've only been here for a little while, and things have been pretty fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Been, this isn't the yeah. typical. I mean, you ain't really never experienced Rodango, have you? Only for work. Why? I look over at Buck and I'm say, "Why do you know somewhere we could go? Really experience Rodango?" Uh, no. Well, you I seem don't... so confident at first. No, what it's happened? it's it's a, it's an amazing place, but I just you know. We just left there. The train's fucked. There's, I mean, it it's... almost seemed like you had a very specific spot in mind. You were excited to tell us about up until Listen, just I just, now. I just missed the rodeo. Y'all should see me out there, mm. riding like the wind. Could you, could you tell us more about the rodeo? Is, is it? Excuse me. Is it rodeo? Rodeo. Rodeo. Ro uh, we, uh, roll. <laughs> we we Damn. ride we uh we ride the wyverns put on a show for the audience 
we wrestle him. We uh, grab him by the horns. Bulldog him is what we call it. You know, you wrestle him down to the ground. Yeah. Just yeah. a all-out performance. It's just uh, there's nothing like hearing that crowd cheer, chanting your name. Mm. Would you say that was it's awful. um? I don't think I'd want a crowd to see what what I did. To the Would you say it's bulls and blood? It's dust and mud. It's the roar of a Sunday crowd. Oh, put the tear to my damn eye. <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> Pete, you're all right. I'm sorry. I went off on you earlier. That song it's was right. horrible. You, you got better the second time. Not by much. My song no. was worse. <laughs> You know what, we should learn how to actually piano. play some music. Maybe we should, we can, I mean... We can start a band after all this is over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I was still kind of banking Listen, on the, 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 the haunted house, we have to, but I mean... We have also, to hit the country western tropes, all right? We got... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are so bad at music. <laughs> <laughs> We've proven know, this. It. You know what? We you should start uh, a. Well, this is usually how it goes. The people who can't play anything say, "We could start a band." We could start a band. <laughs> Everyone, multi-class bard, next level. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Let's go to Rodango and play for the rodeo. This, this fucking campaign. This isn't what I planned. <laughs> <laughs> oh my <Yeah>. God! <laughs> now, now I'm like over here, like panicking, like, "Oh my God! What if they fucking do it?" Yeah, Buck. When all this is over, we can we can stop fighting. I can. I be still eternal. need to understand your abilities. Oh, I, I think that's a I ride wyverns. Is that what you're talking about? Like, no, I, I think no. I spelled it out pretty clear. I mean, <laughs> I'm talking about Pete. Well. Uh -oh. I'll tell you one thing. I'm a collector. <laughs> yeah. Yes, you. Yes. Yes. And I've developed a particular set of skills. L listen, Red. I. I'll give you some advice. This is coming from someone that was around a lot of questionable folks back in Rodango. You. Sometimes it's better just to not ask questions and just kind of go with the flow. You start asking questions, things get weird. You just... I well, find that the more questions you ask, the more answers you get. Let me ask you this, Pete. Okay. Are you someone who is... Uh, are you someone who is uh, proficient in curses? I don't know much too bad. Okay. Curses. I mean, I heard him say shit and fuck a couple times. Yeah. And you're not who I'm looking for. Well, so we shouldn't have any problems. I don't think we exactly playing for the same team in that regard there, Ed, but um, if we can find somebody who knows how to do some curses, I reckon I might have some connections in that side of the world. We'll definitely have to uh, explore that a bit once we get back. But I appreciate that. Now, um, I've got to do a little ritual. Is that what yeah. you call taking a crap? You're not going to yeah, make gotta, things come out of me again, are you? I got to see him uh, about a horse. <laughs> you guys going to group shit? <laughs> no, nah, man, circle jerk. No, I just have, I'm kind of worried about this ritual. Because last time that didn't go well for me. Can you imagine if everybody's standing, <laughs> like if you're camping with your bros? And everyone stands up at the same time and is like, well, gotta take a shit. <laughs> Everybody just slaps their knees. Go in different directions. <laughs> well, well, four, di four cardinal directions. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shitting time, boys. <laughs> All right, so as, as, the, uh, as the, the stars twinkle in the sky, and you guys uh, you, you have your conversation, and eventually you maybe start to lay down in your bedrolls or your canvas tents or your dirt or whatever you guys are laying in. 
I got a blanket. Uh, you got a blanket? Nice. Nice. What kind? Like a quilted? It's just a, no, it's just a green linen blanket. It's just it's like a blanket. like an army shitty blanket that just lays out the ground. <laughs> I just lay on that. Are you sleeping armored? Absolutely. Helmet on and everything. Fully armored? Or just like mm-hmm. like like helmet well, on? Box so on. I take he takes his he takes his greaves and his uh and his gloves off and like kinda like removes the breastplate part, but yeah, helmet helmet stays on. Does anyone every, Red, are you a Mandalorian? Everyone roll perception. <laughs> other than uh <laughs> other than Gabriel. Uh <laughs> I believe in you, Pete. Oops. You got this. Coming out. Uh, this. It's okay. Uh, the best way I do it is I just hit C. And then <laughs> under attributes, oh, I did man. it. Perceptive little man. Perfect. He percepted. Pete, you notice that it's a little goddamn weird for anyone, even in the protectorate, to sleep with their helmet on, and it dawns on you that you have never seen Gabriel take his helmet off, ever. He's a Mandalorian. <laughs> That's it. You can do with that what you want. Okay. So he anyway. doesn't do anything at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> so as you guys drift off to sleep, you're you're all all four slowly getting to that point. You're getting to that to where like you feel your mind starting to wander, your eyes are are closed, and you're you're drifting into that like no man's land between being awake and being asleep. You can like you just you know you know what I mean when like, you're like supremely comfortable and you're almost there. And as you guys are getting to that that perfect, perfect point, you hear it (sighs) flapping just above you. (sighs) And then you hear a sort of whistle like a like a World War Two bomb coming down. And then uh, you hear a screech. Uh-oh. <clears throat> oh, God, there it is. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Do a barrel. Directly over your camp, flapping with all of its might, is a massive wyvern. The what? The very same type that Mud referred to as a turkey, and then you all see why. Because it kind of looks like a fucking turkey. And then it scurries off. It lands on the ground, and with its big turkey legs runs away chasing the rat that was in your camp that I don't know if Z's ate or not. But it's chasing a fucking rat. And that is where we're going to end today's session. Oh, hell yeah. 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 All righty. <laughs> yeah. Our, 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 I, had, uh, to... <clears throat> I had some stuff planned, but I, I figured like I, I knew this was going to be a heavy RP session and I wanted to give you guys as, as much time as possible to RP. Um, I've said this off stream, but if I'm ever like pushing too fast, you guys can tell me to slow down and be like, Hey, I want to do this thing real quick. And then I will gladly slow down because when you guys yeah, are role playing, like... it gives me the chance to sit back and not do fucking anything. And I love that. I don't feel like we were pushed at all this session. I feel like we actually like probably could have used a slight push because we were just <laughs> jerking around in circles. But <laughs> yeah, I, I wrote in my notes, uh, let the players figure out their own way of of dealing with um Layla Field's request and I even put in like parentheses this may be a bad idea. <laughs> I think it's a great I think we're doing great. That's oh fun. god. I I think we have a solid plan. I'm yeah, you guys came up with a plan. It's a fucking weird one, but it's a plan nonetheless and I, I would have I can't nothing wait to less. See how it plays out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that uh that, that Pete's just like here are these three dumbass plans. Yeah. And uh, yeah, <laughs> pick one. And we went with <laughs> the haunting. Well, I mean, I wasn't gonna get married, so. <laughs> well, I was. <laughs> I was really pushing I, for that for listen. a minute there. I was. I thought getting it's, married and, and it's not that off. we were just like, yep, <clears throat> yep. Pete said a thing, and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna say <laughs> that no, I took the haunting because I thought it was a good start, and then we built on it. 
and made it into a real thing. Like a, an actual plan to where, yeah. like, we can actually get this guy out of town without, like, a mutiny or, <laughs> you know, yeah. fucking just murdering just people. For cause a, a mental breakdown. <laughs> well, no, just have, you know, help, just have a story to tell. I, I very, very desperately wanted to get you guys into a situation where you could actually learn a little bit about each other and, like, what your, mm -hmm. what's, what's your character's deals. And, like, I think a challenge as a dungeon master is always, like, how do I make these dudes actually want to adventure together? So, like, that, that kind of puts on the pressure of, like, give them quests. <laughs> give them things to do. Don't let yeah. them have time to stop and think about it. Oh, yeah. Earlier, Pete was just like, all right, I'm, we're done. Let's I go. Heard, I'm it, going home. As soon as you said that, I had Layla speak up. Because I'm like, uh-oh. Yeah. <laughs> uh-oh. <laughs> Pete goes like, home. All right. Game in. Pete's done here. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, shit today, fun. boys. See you later. Had a good oh, yeah, time. Cool. Chat, thank you for tuning in. You guys have been fucking popping off in chat. Listen, I uh, I do actually read what's going on in chat, but I can't always answer it. So if if you ever feel like uh, if you ever feel like offended by that, I just want you to know that I don't fucking care. Grow up. You're an adult. Anyway, wow. I will see you guys tomorrow morning on our regularly <laughs> scheduled stream. We're playing Resident Evil Four with crowd control. All of you have a great night. Say goodbye, boys. Goodbye, boys. Goodbye. Bye. Somebody bring sun chips next time. <laughs> nope. You didn't, you didn't bring them this week. Oh, <laughs>